Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the term imitation. Introduction. Imitation holds a prominent place in literary criticism, manifesting in two distinct applications. Firstly, it serves as a defining concept for literature and other arts. Secondly, it indicates the relationship between one literary work and another, where the latter serves as a model or inspiration. This video will delve into the multifaceted nature of imitation, its historical significance, and its varying interpretations in literary theory. Aristotle's influence. In his seminal work Poetics, Aristotle defines poetry as a form of imitation or mimesis of human actions. In this context, imitation denotes a process of representation where a poem captures and represents a specific instance of human action using the medium of words. Aristotle's differentiation of artistic media, the types of actions imitated, and the modes of imitation lays the groundwork for distinguishing various poetic genres such as drama, epic, tragedy, and comedy. Changing Perspectives Throughout the 16th to 18th century, the concept of imitation remained central in discussions about the essence of poetry. However, critics had differing notions about the nature of the mimetic relationship and the objects of imitation, ranging from strict realism to remote idealism. Expressive Criticism and the Decline of Imitation's Centrality as the expressive criticism emerged in the early 19th century, the centrality of imitation in literary theory waned. Expressive criticism emphasized poetry as an expression of the poet's emotions and imaginative processes, diverting attention from imitation as the primary focus. However, in recent decades, scholars like R. S. Crane and the Chicago School of Critics have researched the usage of the term imitation by grounding their theories on the analytic method and fundamental distinctions from Aristotle's poetics. Additionally, some Marxist critics view literature as a reflection or imitation of social reality. Imitation as literary inspiration In the second application of the term, imitation pertains to the practice of poets drawing inspiration from established literary models within a particular genre. While ancient rhetoricians and critics encouraged poets to imitate classical Greek and Roman masters, they also stressed the importance of infusing one's own creativity and talent. The notion of imitation as adaptation or reimagining became prominent. A specialized use of the term refers to literary works deliberately echoing older pieces but adapting them to contemporary subject matters. Often sterically, Alexander Pope's imitations of Horace exemplifies this approach, where he ingenuously accommodates Horace's Roman satires to address contemporary issues and social concerns. Scholarly works on imitation Scholarly works on imitation have explored its broader implications in literature. R. S. Crane's Critics and Criticism and Eric Orbach's Mimesis provide insightful analysis of the concept. Furthermore, discussions on Pope's imitations of ancient masters by R. A. Brower shed light on the creative adaptation of classical works to contemporary contexts. Some contemporary literary theories, such as Russian formalism, structuralist criticism, deconstruction, and new historicism, and text and writing, challenge the notion that literature inherently imitates reality. Conversely, modern defenders of the mimetic view include Gerald Graf, A. D. Nuttall, and Robert Alter, who argue that literature does have reference beyond the text 
to the world of human experience conclusion in conclusion imitation plays a significant role in literary criticism serving both as a defining aspect of literature and as a means of drawing inspiration from established literary models its interpretations have evolved over time reflecting changing literary theories and perspectives understanding the complexities of imitation and reaches our comprehension of literary works and their intertextual relationships so this was the discussion on the term imitation we will meet in the next video and discuss some other term until then goodbye and thank you hello everyone welcome to this series on literary terms and literary theory if you want to study the notes and mcqs related to this term you can click the link given in the description we are also going to start our online and offline classes for ugc net for english literature very soon so stay connected with us